Hey there, fellas. What do we got today? Some more car-related fun. Here's what we're doing. Here you can see our favorite Lada. A nice sturdy brick wall. And we've got about 20 cans of construction foam in the trunk. I mean, you do seem to like the videos we put out with foam in them. You do remember that after washing the car, the mirrors flew off, right? Anyway, Anthony from Big Boys Toys, which we will link in the description, go pay him a visit. So, he sent us some new mirrors. While we're waiting for them, we've decided to have some fun. Here's the plan. A lot of people commented saying that foam doesn't really stick well to dry surfaces. So, I'm gonna moisten up that there brick wall. Then I'm gonna get the car wet. And in the end, we'll get a makeshift security system happening. We'll glue the side of the car to the wall using construction foam. And tomorrow, when that shit dries, we'll somehow try to separate the car. I don't know how, but hopefully we figure it out. Okay, should we get started? Right, guys, so here I am on the car. I'll give everything a good spray while cleaning the dust off for better foam adhesion. We should have used water last time, too. No worries, we'll stick it on nice and tight. All we have to do is soak the wall, clean all the dust off so that the foam sticks nicely. Get everything nice and clean. Apply the foam. Hmm, what if we take the wall with us later on? I guess we're gonna have to build Igor a new wall for his garage. <laughs> Anyway, guys, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of foam here. I reckon this should do the trick. Although these cans aren't for using with a dispenser, but rather dispersed through a tube, but this should be enough. To some extent, at least. I mean, it does swell quite a bit. Right, let's do this. Sticking a car to the wall with construction foam. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Attention, girl, I know you, know you, but you're everything I want in life. Yeah. We're fighting danger like kung fu. kung fu. The love I feel is deep inside. The others don't matter. matter. It's honestly us against the world. We're the perfect team. You're my dream, and I just want it. So we're making some good progress. We've already emptied 10 cans, right? This is actually some weak-ass foam. There's really not a lot in those cans. We're probably gonna have to get some more. No? Whatever, we've still got 10 cans left. We'll see how they do. We really should have gotten 20 more, though. Anyway, guys, this foam is subpar. It's really not swelling that much. We even started throwing the empty cans in there to give it some volume. It's not really helping that much. It will stick to the cans, the wall, and everything else. Anyway, fellas, we've got everything foamed up. It did take a while, to the point where it's actually starting to get dark, but no worries. Now we wait 24 hours, since the instructions do say it hardens after 24 hours. When evening comes tomorrow, that's when we try to pry it off. We will try driving away, of course, but I'm not sure that'll work. If not, I guess we'll just get another car to help. Okay, now we wait. Right, guys, now we get to the interesting part. The foam is nice and hard. I tried rocking the car a bit, it won't even budge. Now I'm just gonna fire it up and try ungluing it from the wall. And see what happens. Okay, now we try... Moving the car. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shit, man, it's stuck on really tight. How are we gonna tear it off? Right. 
I'm not even joking, this thing is seriously stuck. Let me just try reverse. The clutch seems to be slipping when going forward. Well, I'll be damned. We did a pretty good job gluing the car. There you have it. Here's the situation. Foam is quite a picky animal. It doesn't go well with tires. But it's great for sticking a car to the wall. Okay, so since this went down so well and the car can't even move... We have a welded diff, by the way, so you're seeing both wheels spin. Anyway, this seems like a great way to burn some rubber. What if we were to take our little green Oka? smother one side with some foam, put these two together, and leave them to dry for the night. I mean, I guess we'll be able to take both cars to the track and have some simultaneous drifting action. Sounds like a good idea. We should give it a try sometime. Okay, now we have to figure out how to pry this car from the wall. We can't just leave it here. I guess we tie a rope to it and use another car to rip it off. If that doesn't work, uh, we'll have to look for a wire or something to cut the foam up. We'll take it slowly and see what happens next. So we doing this or what? Right, so we've tied a rope to the Mercedes. We'll be using it as a tow vehicle. While I start this car and help out a little bit. So that's how we're doing this. Try jolting it a bit, dude. Anyway, here's what we're looking at. Two cars aren't doing the job either. I guess we have to find some wires now. And cut the foam, I mean, there doesn't seem to be another way. Or maybe we get a big knife, I don't know, we'll think of something. Right, fellas, wires and knives just aren't how we roll. And here the guys bring out this bad boy just in time for some fun. Anyway, I'm gonna be using this thing to separate the car from the wall. Okay, let's do this. Hang on. Hey, it's working! Hot damn! Shit, man, this isn't going to be easy.
Okay, so we've separated them a bit. Right now I'm gonna fire it up and try driving away. Anyway, guys, here's the plan. Now we tie another car to the wheel and try ripping it from the wall sideways. Going back and forth just ain't working. It seems to be giving ever so slightly, but only just. Come on, dude. Maybe just pick up some speed first. Sonya, you've got to try harder than that. Don't be scared, man. Come on. Okay. Right, so... Ripping it from the wall just isn't working for us. Either the ropes get torn or something else happens. We're gonna have to keep cutting. It is starting to fall apart, though. Now we just cut it up a bit. And we should finally be able to free the car. Right, that was an empty can. And that brings us to the end of our experiment. As you can see, the foam has dried up. It seems to block any oxygen from coming through. It dried up on top and at the bottom, but not on the inside. Regardless, we were only able to rip the car off after doing some cutting all around, making an incision and towing it to the side. Only then we were able to get it off. This is actually quite a solid security system. Like I said, you park the car, apply foam and just leave it there. Forever. I guess we're done here. Watch our videos, give us a thumbs up, leave your suggestions and see you later.